we begin to realize one that, for instance, when I was doing the areas trial, I didn't want to be there. I'd filed motions to withdraw. There were lots of lots of things going on behind the scenes that people weren't aware of. But I can then connect to somebody who's working a dead end job that they can't get out of. I was bullied online during that. I can connect to a teenager that was bullied online and we have similar feelings and similar experiences. So it's not just a mirror as to me as as much as that commonality, that common core of humanity that we all have that, you know, we tend to separate ourselves in, into individuals. And while we're individual entities, we tend to forget that we come from the same source. We get, we're all part of this human community and we're really, if if we do it right, we should be working on unifying each other instead of finding reasons to divide each other, right? So that's when I talk about those common experiences, those common pain points. It's real easy for someone to say, well, you know, you don't know what it was like to go what I, what, what I went through. And it's real easy. And they can say, yeah, you know, I've never been in that situation. But as, as you talk about when you talk about my book, Defend Your Greatness, it's not written for somebody who gets stuck trying a high profile case with a, you know, a, a hated criminal defendant. It's written for everybody that is unhappy, that has been disconnected from their greatness and wants to reconnect to their greatness and maybe doesn't even understand that they have their greatness. So, you know, that common bond to me is what keeps me wanting to write books like that and, and, and have conversations like these and, and do the podcast we talked about. 